Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video and if you're into Hux World. Today I want to talk about the update from Samsung for the Gear S3 that dropped. Now you will not be able to see this update with the naked eye. Uh, it's not a major update, but we're going to go through a few of the things they have updated and give you an opportunity to go in and check it out if you like it. Number one is going to be the watch faces. Now you're able to add dates and music to it, but it's only limited to the watch faces that came out of the box. Number two, a timid, a timid, Tim Barometer, I can't say that correctly, adds a new auto refresh feature for those of you all who use that. Uh, number three is going to be S Health. S Health now gives you a customized coaching feature uh, that helps you in the HR zone. Uh, also, information and features for stretching too, as well. Also, S Voice allows you to set dates and time and reminders now. Uh, I believe that will work if it allows me to finish my sentence. Okay, number five is going to be news briefing. For those of you all who use that widget and who reads the news, uh, it just gives you more of that information about the news that you're reading. Number six, you are able to now input languages, uh, additional languages, which are available for download. Number seven, find my device as a feature where you can send your contact. If a person found your phone, they're able to call you so therefore you can get the information and have your phone ship back to you. I haven't found that feature yet. If you have, hit me down in the comment section down below. Okay, uh, accessibility. I like this one for the vision impaired. And what this does is, you know, it gives you a screen reader. Uh, it, you can turn this to dark screen, grayscale, and negative colors, which I thought was pretty cool. They're thinking about others. Um, also, you got an iOS, iOS enhancement so far as the U.S. is concerned. S voices got refreshed. And you got number 10, which is auto switch so if you got the gear s2 and you switch in between gear s smartwatch it's gonna auto connect don't know why that wasn't added anyway but now it's here number 11 stopwatch now you have a max time of three hours so if you're really into using the stopwatch and you need it for a long length of time now you can do that number 12 you have samsung internet uh, which I have not found. Nobody has found this yet, right? Also, I think they kind of will refresh uh, like YouTube and Facebook. YouTube is a little bit more stable. It doesn't buffer. It hasn't buffered yet since I've tried it after the update. Pretty good. Number 13 is going to be now um, new partner apps available for download in the Gear App Store. Uh, like Spotify now has the streaming services that you can get and the BMW connected service which is for the people who have BMW to remote start their cars. So that's pretty much it for the update guys. I don't know what you think. Hit me down in the comment section below. I think that they still have a long way to go uh, so far as really tweaking it to where we can get the most out of this smartwatch. But other than that, it is still at the top of the food chain. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative. And if it was, please make sure you hit the like button down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all at the next video. Take care.